welcome to the third part of the series where we'll talk about the advanced features of Anki. Now, if you haven't seen the first one, uh, which talks all about Anki, and the second video, which talks about the basics of Anki, I highly recommend you do so since it covers up most of the important parts of Anki. Now, let's get started. First of all, let's take off from where we ended on our last video. Last time we created a single deck with a few questions, now we're gonna talk all about organizing multiple decks together with cards. So now, in order for us to quickly grasp this concept, let's view Anki card organization as this way. This here represents the decks, this one first by monthly, log like someone, log like some two, and the colored one here uh, represents the tags or the subjects. So in this way, you have two ways to sort the cards. You have the this one, the first by monthly, is the mother deck, and then you have the sub decks long like some one, long like some two. The importance of this is during reviews, you can either review the main deck, which is the first by monthly deck, and then once you review the first by monthly deck, it's gonna contain cards from long exam 1 and long exam 2. But if you choose to review only long exam 1, then it's not gonna contain any cards from long exam 2. Now, another importance of uh, creating this organization is that when you create a filter deck, which we will talk about later, so if you want to review only all anatomy cards, then you create a filter deck with anatomy and that's gonna contain all the anatomy cards in all of your decks. So even the deck here in long exam 2. So now let's create a main deck with two sub decks. So this is our deck that we created, the exam 8 hematology. Let's create another one, uh, exam 9 neuro. And then let's create a home deck. Let's name that deck sub second by monthly. Okay, so now we created the decks. We want the exam 8 and exam 9 to be a sub deck and under second by monthly, we just click it and drag beneath. Click and drag beneath. If you want also to put that exam 8 hematology back again, you click and you put it above and then that's gonna put it outside. Now, uh, I'm just gonna put it back. Now, this minus symbol and plus allows you to toggle between showing the sub decks or showing the home deck only. Now let's talk about how I organize my decks in first year and second year. So what you can see here, we have PBL1 decks for first year, ICS first by and second by. These two decks are for second year. Now for first year, I arrange them into subjects, and then after arranging them into subjects, I did a sub deck to each by monthly. So we have the year fourth by monthly, and then the sub deck again is for the each uh, unit in that certain by monthly. Now, every time I review an exam, I use the subdecks, and then since the subdeck contains already a lot of the information, I'm already reviewing for the future exams. Uh, the tags that I did with first year, I used tags for each unit. So, endorepro, the tag was endorepro. The neuro, the tag was neuro. Now, for uh, second year, what I did uh, is I organized them into the bi monthly. So, we have the ICS first bi. And then in each bi monthly, we have the different exams, so LQ1 until LQ6. And each exam, what I did, I created subdecks to each topics under each exam bacteria, bacteria protein synthesis, and etc. Now, in each subdex, I did a tag. Now, the tags that I used was the subject. So, for example, we have here LQ5, which has antivirals. The tag that I used here was pharma. And then here, COVID. It depends if the topic contained IM questions, then I, the tag was IM, but if the topic contained uh, pharma cards, then I use pharma tag. We now go to custom study for cramming. So now why do we need to organize our decks? Well, first of all, uh, organizing your Anki decks makes everything easier. Secondly, it also helps us to choose as to what level we want to review. Lastly, it helps us to choose what topics to cram with our filter deck function. So uh, what is a filter deck? Uh, Anki cards are usually uh, arranged in a predetermined manner. For example, you review 100 cards. Well, in this case, you review 100 cards like this. You see here 100. And then the new cards are 50. The reason why Anki is like this is because it prevents you to cram and allows you to review uh, 100 new cards and 50 new cards on a daily basis. So, thus fulfilling the space repetition. So, a filter deck allows us to review a whole set of cards based on their deck or tag without the limitation set by Anki. So it's sort of uh, you getting all of the cards and then 
you're going to go through all of the cards without the spaced repetition system established in Anki. Uh, a filter deck is temporary, so once you finish it, uh, you can just delete the deck. Like this one, uh, this thyroid, this is a filter deck. If I delete this deck, it's just gonna go back to its original deck. Now we're gonna create a filter deck step by step. So either press F to open filter deck menu, this one, filter deck menu, or select the deck you want to create a filter deck with. So let's say we want to review anatomy. So I'll go here, anatomy. I'm gonna press F. And then uh, if you want to review the tags instead of the deck, in this part you can see it's deck pbl1 uh, anatomy so if you want to review the tags only you can use tag endo repro and tag neuro neuro so uh, with that it's gonna create a deck that's based on tag endo repro and tag neuro so but for this you want to create a deck with uh, anatomy cards so uh, you can see it's I pressed cancel and pressed F again. It's deck PBL1 dex uh, anatomy. We, rem we remove is due and then we put the limit to 999 so that it's gonna cover all of the cards and then all the scene first. Well, it's up to you if you want random or you want uh, order due, latest added first, etc. What, but what I always do is usually all the scene first and then you don't need to go and you don't need to change this. And then you check the schedule cards based on my answers in this deck and then you press build so now we have a filtered deck based on all of the anatomy cards so now we're gonna talk about uh bury and unbury so bury basically means that you hide a card for today and see it again the next day so i'm gonna show you what bury looks like so let's open this filtered deck and then so we have we go to more and then we have the buried card so the card is buried so i won't see that card again today it's gonna show up the next day so for the unburied or the unburied it's usually seen in uh decks that you finish so as you can see here in pbl1 deck there's an unbury uh what it does is it puts out the buried cards so now we'll talk about flags and suspend cards what is flag so flag is the shortcut is actually command Command one, two, three, four. You can see this upper right one, two, three, four. It different. It has different colors, so you can use flags in actually any way that you want. Uh, what I usually do is I use flags for uh, cards that I want to edit after a review session. So if red, it usually means that the card has too much information and I need to edit it. If it's green, it usually means that the card was in a wrong formatting and then I'm gonna edit it. Because if I flag this card, you see I flag this card green. We go to browse. And then we filter and the card state uh, green flag it's gonna show up see what does the these are the green flags cards that i tag green suspend is uh, shortcut is shift one uh what it does shift one or exclamation mark what it does is is it uh, suspends the card it means that you're not gonna see the card ever again so as compared to buried buried is you're not gonna see the card today and then for suspend card suspend card is that you're not gonna see the card again now remember that you had suspended card so if you want to unsuspend a card you just go to browse and then filter uh, card state and suspended and then you can see all these cards these are all suspended cards so it's sort of yeah you don't hide you hide the cards and you're never gonna gonna see them again unless you click the card and then toggle suspend which puts the card back into your deck now let's talk about add-ons so let's divide the add-ons first into card creation add-ons review add-ons statistics add-ons and other add-ons which will include wallpaper and then picmonic so uh, for the first add-on we have the image occlusion which allows you to create questions from diagrams uh, which is really helpful in anatomy or histology so here's an example of creating an image occlusion now we have here a diagram of the anatomy of a heart so now we occlude the labels uh, so that it's going to ask us what that part is. So for example, we'll occlude superior vena cava, uh, aorta, uh, we'll occlude uh, the mitral valve, uh, pulmonary artery. So now you can see in the bottom here, it says hide all guess one or hide one guess one. So hide all, when we review, it's gonna hide all of this yellow, uh, all of this occlusion, and then we're only gonna guess one. We're in a side one guess one it's gonna show these other occlusions but it'll only cover one 
uh, anyway we'll use uh, hide all guess one for this one so there we created four cards so if we preview this one it's gonna look like this uh, you see it, it occludes the mitral valve this is supposed to be red once you review the card but it's just uh, yellow in the preview menu don't worry it's gonna be red once you review it so uh, you guess what oh uh, you answer what the card is and then it's gonna show you the answer so that's how image occlusion works and then for the next one you have frozen fields so frozen fields is basically an add-on that helps you to create multiple cards so we create cards so if we write a word here word uh, question once we add that card see it's already gone frozen field uh, allows you to this one on the left frozen field allows you to carry over the word or the image so word uh, uh, question and word so see it's still there and then you can change it so what's really helpful with frozen fields uh, like for example when we use a heart diagram for a question but we need to create two questions from it we just put the diagram uh, here so we put the diagram of the heart here and then we add a question so let's say question one and then the answer is svc and then we click frozen fields and then it's gonna remain there See? it's still there so next we type question two question two and then we type ivc ivc and then it's, it's still there so instead of putting the image every time you make a card you just need to click frozen fields and the image will just remain after you created a card so that you can use it to the next card so for the next add-on we have life drain which is straight to the point it drains your life while reviewing and replenishes health for every correct answer it also deducts health for every wrong answer there's also a setting where you can configure the amount of health that you have as well as the deductions in health so as you can see the life drains here at the bottom and then if I get the correct answer, I gain health. If I get the deduction, uh, it loses health. There's also a setting where you can configure the amount of health. Uh, or also if you want to enable damage. Yeah. So now for the next add-on, we have Anki Fanfare Gamification. Uh, this by far is my favorite add-on. I won't go into detail since it's gonna take so much time. But I will make a separate video of how I use or how I set up my Anki Fanfare Gamification. But basically it adds sounds and images every time you get a correct or wrong answer. It also adds an image once you finish an entire deck. Now for our next add-on, the statistics add-on, we have the review heat map. The review heat map allows you to view your progress in Anki like a calendar. This this one, this the green boxes at the bottom. So each block means you reviewed your cards on that day, and the dark and light colors represent the amount of cards you reviewed on that day. As you can see here, uh, 1609 cards on Wednesday, and in this light block, we have 18 cards reviewed. Then, next, we have the syllabus. So, uh, I'll open it first. So, now uh, this is the syllabus add on allows you to view all your decks and tags, and also allows you to view the status of the cards on that certain deck. So, you can see for the tag, uh, let's say tag physiology, we have 1293 1 total cards with 115 new cards, 8 learning. 828 young cards as well as the 328 mature cards now for the other add-ons we have the wallpaper add-on as you can see in the background also known as the dancing baloney allows changing wallpapers with live preview don't worry i will put links of all the add-ons that i use in my anki in the description below now uh, with this add-on you can customize the background okay. you can also change the opacity of the background as well as uh, the toolbars uh, the top and bottom toolbar so uh, one of the things that I like with this add-on is you can also add GIFs as wallpapers. So uh, we can use this one. See? The next add-on here is Picmonic, another one of my favorite add-ons. Picmonic is actually an app that makes picture mnemonics to help you memorize some facts or concepts. With this add-on, they made a shortcut here in Anki for you to view the Picmonic. You just hover your mouse over the underlined word and it enables you to view the Picmonic on the Picmonic website. Can also play the videos as well now this pigmonic add-on is actually free i will be making a separate video ab about the pigmonic app if you're interested in getting the premium subscription of the app well then you can get a 20 percent off discount by using the link below hopefully you've got to learn what anki is all about some basics of anki and as well as some advanced features now anki worked for me in my study technique 
but it's still up to you. You may have a different study technique. You can just try Anki out, and then if it doesn't work, then you go to another study technique. Now, I will be creating another video on how I go step by step on how I use Anki from reading up until to reviewing. So don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.